So today I'm going to show you what we are using for science. Right now we're covering space science and we're using the good and the beautiful. We're going to walk through the first three lessons and then I'm going to show you what we are using to supplement this with. Okay, this is not the brand new space science that the good and the beautiful just released. This is the older one. Um, I keep mine in a binder. And right here is some stuff we've already gone through as well as all of our vocabulary and our planets with the mnemonic device in this little envelope so my children can go through them and put them in order. Let's see. Now, lesson one, which is an introduction to space. And the objective is to help the children feel the wonder of the universe and understand the basic terminology of space science. This one focused a lot about the solar system, galaxy, Milky Way definitions, and you have the extension, which we didn't do because my children are in pre-K and second grade. In lesson two, um, the objective again is help the children understand facts about stars and their life cycles. This one was kind of confusing to me with this lesson, so the supplements really came in handy. Um, it talks about stars, how stars form. They have um, some information about supernovas, pulsars, the temperature and brightness of stars. This all goes with these papers. And it does um, also go over telescopes. In every lesson, there are videos, or most every lesson, they have videos and little projects. So we watched those and did them as well, did the projects. Lesson three, the objective is to help the children learn what constellations are and how to locate the Big Dipper and the North Star. And of course, it goes into the fact that the Big Dipper has two pointer stars that point to Polaris, which is the North Star, and it has some fun activities that go with it. And of course the extension, but like I said, we didn't really do those. We added a lot of stuff to this curriculum, mostly books. This one was one of my favorite, The Little Kid's First Big Book of Space. For lesson one, while we were just going over the solar system and Milky Way, this one, was amazing to show the scale of the planets. We talked about galaxies and the Milky Way, which shows us where we are in our Milky Way. And my favorite thing about this book is this solar system map. It shows the rocky planets, the asteroid belt, and a dwarf planet, the gas giants, and more dwarf planets. And it has little um, bite-sized pieces of information. My kids reference this so much. We'll probably print it out and put it somewhere on the wall so that they can look at it as much as they want. They were really interested in this. This also was amazing for some other lessons. Uh, we'll probably use it throughout. See this one I had marked for lesson two. It goes into constellations. Um, this one was also, I'm sorry, the constellations was lesson three. Uh, the stars and the colors according to the temperatures. Um, it was just really good. It has a page for every planet. It has a page for almost every subject. We will use it throughout the entire space science curriculum. Um, we also got some smaller books. This one is just a read aloud about the solar system. My son was able to read this on his own. Learn about the galaxy was also easy. My second grader could read this too. I have a pre-K um, little girl as well, so I would have to read these. She mainly looked at the pictures. And this one, he read a couple of times actually. Uh, I think we went through a couple pages together. It's kind of in a little bit rough condition, but he really liked this one as well. For lesson two, we mainly just use these two books. They're both by Scholastic and they're both about stars. Um, I marked some of my favorite pages. It goes into the temperature of stars. Nope, this page is my turn. 
Um, it goes into the elements of our bodies and the elements of stars. My second grader really enjoyed that part. The life cycle of a star. That graphic was great at explaining that concept. And we talked a lot about um, telescopes. So this was great about explaining light pollution and why we can't see so many stars where we're living, but we can in other places and the different kinds of telescopes. This one was the same. Um, it goes into some of the same things, but sometimes it takes more than one way to explain the same concept for him to get it. So it goes again into the star colors according to the temperatures. This is uh, stages of a dying star. Um, supernovas. And another graphic for a star's life. I really liked looking at these with him and having more than one graphic because um, sometimes it answered our questions or it helped him get the concept fully. But that's it for lesson two. Lesson three was about constellations. And so we read these three books. Now these books right here which is by Lisa Owings, both of them, has a bunch more at the library. And my son actually wants to get them all now. He really, really liked these. I did not think he would like them as much. Each one is about just one constellation. And it has the old star maps. It talks about the constellation and about um, other stars and galaxies and nebula you'll find in those constellations. And then it goes into the origin of the and the myths and it goes into greek myths and myths from the egyptians and other cultures and he just he wanted to read this over and over again and then this one just was about overall constellations he enjoyed this one as well although not as much but he really liked looking at the pages that showed all of the constellations So that's the ones for lesson three. And then we also got these two books. And this one was just fun to look at. The Usborne Complete Book of Astronomy and Space. And this one was just a little bit silly. It's just basic questions. Um, like is the Milky Way made out of milk? And every page has a question. You turn the page and it gives you the answer. Um, they really enjoyed this one. It was a lot of questions that they had as well as a lot of questions that they didn't have, but then they wanted to know the answer to. Besides the books, we also used the Sky Map app and watched some Magic School Bus episodes. I'm going to link everything that I went over in the description. And if you're looking at using the Good and the Beautiful Space Science curriculum, I hope that this helps you.